What's up guys, my name is Kelvin Wiley and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, if you could please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. So, in all honesty, I was not prepared to create a YouTube video right now. This is all impromptu. I recently, a couple minutes ago, just caught this large female European hornet, Vespa crabro. Now this species of hornet is the only true hornet species that we have here in North America. It is also the largest hornet species that we have in North America. Um, and that is because, like I said, we only have one true hornet species in North America. And I will be going over what that means uh, further on in the video. But in today's video, the objective is going to be stinging myself with this hornet that I'm holding right now. Now, I have been stung by this species of hornet twice already, but I just figured it'd be fun to make a YouTube video out of it. So because I have already stung myself with this hornet species twice, uh, I already know what to expect and what it's gonna feel like when I sting myself with it. But I figured I'd make a YouTube video of it. So enough talking, let's just get right into stinging myself. All right, so here's a wasp. Here's my flesh, and here we go. You can see she's biting while stinging me. Okay. Ah, there we go. Hopefully it wasn't too blurry. Let's try that again though. She's biting my flesh while stinging me. Well, she definitely got me. <laughs> I feel a lot of pain right now. Um, oh, you can see it's starting to swell up like right there. Got a couple of, a couple of bumps on my arm it's starting to develop. So this is the aftermath of the sting. As you can see, my arm has starting to swell up. Um, I really didn't like the footage I got though. It was very blurry and not really up to my standards. So because of that, I'm going to redo the sting. So I'm gonna sting myself for a second time, which in total altogether, this will be the fourth time that I sting myself with this species. So let me go and retry it. All right, here we go. Second time, this time I'm gonna make sure it's not blurry. Here we go. Let's do it again. Oh, there we go. Ooh, you can really see the stinger that time. stuck in there yeah. there we go it's up close view of it get the camera to focus Well, that was pretty fun. Not only was I not expecting to create a YouTube video today, I was not expecting to have to redo my sting video by moving to a different location with better lighting to make for a better quality video. But going back to what I was saying earlier, the European Hornet, the Vespa Crabro, is the only true species of hornet that we have in North America, therefore making it the only hornet species that we have here in North America. Now, the reason why it's the only true hornet species that we have is because this wasp, it's in the genus Vespa. Wasp in the genus Vespa are considered to be the only true hornets. 
any wasp that has hornet in its name and is not in the genus Vespa is not considered to be a true hornet. A good example would be the bald faced hornet, which is a, another common species of wasp that we have here in North America. Its genus is Dolico Vespula. Its genus is not Vespa. And so since its genus is not Vespa, it's not considered to be a, tr a true hornet, although its common name is bald faced hornet. So names could be very misleading. It is a wasp, but it's not a hornet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I mean, like I said, I had a really fun time stinging myself. It was definitely a rush. Um, my arm will be okay. It's not that bad. Uh, the pain, I guess I didn't really go over the pain if you guys were wondering. The pain almost feels like, um, it almost feels like an electrical shock as the venom gets injected and then what follows is a, a hot searing burning sensation. Almost feels like my, my whole forearm is on fire. But uh, within a couple hours, it'll, the swelling will go down, the pain will subside. But um, yeah, it's nothing too crazy. If you guys are severely allergic to wasp, I do not uh, you know, condone you guys to go out and sting, you know, go and sting yourself. That wouldn't be the smart thing to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you're new, if you could hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications. That way you're alerted every time that I post a new video. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys take care.